Steve, we'll uh, start with your injuries. How are you looking? Well, we've got doubts about Lucas, who's picked up a knock. Luko's picked up a knock. We'll see how they are today. Uh, they certainly didn't train yesterday. Um, Harry Maguire's in that in that band too. We'll see how he is today. He hopes to join in. Um, after that, we're okay. Any of those you'd rule out at this point? I'm not ruling them out just yet because I think they all have to be with, just with the physios now. I think they all want to try and train and see how they are. Um, obviously, they saw they couldn't train yesterday, so that'll obviously bear in me thinking of of how we go on on Saturday. Any players back? Uh, Powell's not back now. Um, no, nobody back. Okay, so he's going to be with our most other bar joint because he's suspended. Yeah. Um, chance for Elmo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, you know, he's yeah, he's there and. Yeah, good opportunity for him. Yeah, and in terms of changes elsewhere, would you make wholesale changes or not? <clears throat> well, there'll be changes. Um, there'll be changes because of obviously the knocks to Aluko and Klukas obviously bear in me mind to start with straight away. And there will be changes. There won't be wholesale changes because, you know, even though the results haven't been great in terms of results, the performances have been OK, apart from the other night. The other night is not acceptable, which we need a response. So, you know, they're usually the way to respond is, you know, change your personnel, you know, freshen the team up. <coughs> and certainly I'll do that. In light of that unacceptable performance, then how have you reacted to the players? Well, every time I react with the players, it's for, for them to know and me to know. You know, I would never, ever divulge what happens in here, publicly anyway. But make no mistake, they're in... They're, they know themselves. They know themselves that for the standards they've set the best part of the season, and sometimes you get beat. You get beat at Birmingham, you get beat at Middlesbrough, and there's a bit of misfortune. And it, you bounce of the ball or you haven't scored a goal. You can, you can accept that. It's football. What we can't accept is losing 4-0 to Derby. It's unacceptable. So they're in no... They're no they understand that. And I think they, they're all as disappointed as what we all are. The great thing about football is another game coming up, and we need a reaction, and we need to go there and win. And if and if we can do that, then <clears throat> we'll put ourselves back in with a shout again. But you have to be honest now; it's going to be very, very difficult, very, very difficult because we've had a disappointing month. Six games left. What are your expectations in terms of the points? Or... Well, <laughs> wherever the points will take, you know we've. With the, the gap the way it is, you've probably got to think you've got to win at least five of them, I would have thought. Six of them, I would have thought. But, you know, we've got to get back to winning ways and and uh, and get back to being the team which has seen us be in the top two, three, four for the best part of eight months and, uh, and get back to winning ways. How much are you looking over your shoulders now? I'm not looking over my shoulder. I'm trying to still look at... We've got to be positive and still look at the ones we've got to try and catch. We're never going to give up that thought of trying to catch the ones, you know, in this league, you can put back-to-back -back wins together and you can very, very easily not win in three. I mean, Burnley have not winning their last three games. Um, you know, Middlesbrough had their wobble, if you like, if that's what you want to call it, and responded by winning three on the trot since they beat us. So, <clears throat> I still think there's a lot of twists and turns to go. There's still a lot of points to play for. We've got to do it ourselves. And if we perform like we did on um, on Tuesday, then if we be honest, we've got no chance. I expect us to be better, and we will be better. And let's hope that's going to be good enough to go and beat the Huddersfield team. How did you go from playing and winning so emphatically last weekend? Well, that's a disappointment. So I mean, to be fair, we've we've given a horrible goal away where there was nothing in it until we give a horrible goal away, and then the game's finished when you go down to ten men and you're trying to chase it. And to be fair, we chased it and had a couple of real opportunities, we were probably better with 10 men than we were with 11, and that's, and that's unacceptable. Um, how, I go about, how do we go about? You can only say it's football, but it's a, a kick in the teeth for us, and one what we didn't see coming. In a big game, you know, we shouldn't be losing 4-0 to Derby, and, uh, and we're all bitterly disappointed. So the way forward for it is to go and put on a performance away at Huddersfield, and, and bounce back a bit.
They've got lost the last couple of matches, but they're eight points clear in the relegation places right, right now. What sort of mood are you expecting them to be? Well, I seen them play a few weeks ago. They were unlucky at Derby. They play open and expansive. They play in a way which um, um, they play out from the back. They're very, very open, as I've said. I think they're the number one team in possession of the ball and passes of the ball. They've gone and changed their style drastically with a new coach. And they've got some very good players. The boy up the front, always capable of scoring a goal. Patterson off him. So, we're under no illusion, it's going to be difficult. You know, all the championship is difficult as we've just experienced. We've just experienced it over you know, the last six or seven games, or how difficult it is. So, we're under no illusion, it's going to be difficult. But I'm expecting a reaction and I'm expecting us to put in a performance which can get us a result. What confidence do you have in your players that you will turn it around? Well, me, me, me confidence in the players will, has, has been there from, from day one. I've said we'll, we'll, we expect to be there or thereabouts. And unfortunately, in the past month or whatever, um, we've had our worst run of the season, which is disappointing at this particular moment. Of course it would be. But I've got every confidence in them that they can show what they need to show and play to a level which has seen us be at the top of the league for a long, long time and, uh, and get back there. You're going back to your old club, aren't you? How long ago? Well, there's a long—that's a million miles ago away. That was, but uh, it's a distant memory. But yeah.